So now let's see how we can work around with contact shadows inside of Blender. So here you can see that I have a shape and if I were to actually add in a plane right here. So I'm just going to go around and add in a plane. Let me just scale this out right here. And then I'm going to add in some other objects right here as well, such as a torus. So I'm just going to go around and put it on the side over here, just like this. So there you go. And I'm going to pull this out onto the top as well. I'm going to press Shift A and then I'm going to bring in a cone, drag it onto the side and pull this up over here as well. So once I do that, this is what I have. And if I were to go around over here onto the viewport shading, then this is what I have, as you can see right here. So now if I were to go too close, you can see that as I drag this down, you can see that the shadow is actually not in contact right here. That is because uh, this is the default view right here. So what I want um, to have one Blender to do is I want the shadows to be contacted to one another so that it looks much more natural. So in order to do that, I can select out the light right here. So once I select out the light, I can go around into the settings and then work around with shadows right here. So this is the light as you can see. So I'm just going to go to the light setting where it says shadow and I can turn it off or turn it on right here. So once I expand this, you can see that contact shadows is currently turned off. If I were to turn this on, now you can see that the shadows go all the way up till here. So you have to turn this on so that the shadows start from where it should be started from right here. And that is how it works. So now you can see that the shadows are much more natural. So if I were to go around onto the light, let's say, for example, and go to contact shadows, you can see that as I enable and disable this, you can see that the shadow increases. You can increase the distance of the shadows over here as well, decrease so that you can see that it decreases out. You can increase out the shadow um, uh, right here. So you can increase and decrease the distance and then adjust it out as well. You can also work around with the bias and see like the different uh, shadow options going on right here. You can increase and decrease it and the shadow area, you can see that increases and decreases around as well with the bias. You can work around with the thickness of the shadow as well. You can really make it thick or you can make it thin right here and then work around with this. So you can adjust the settings right here. You can also work around with the clip start and clip end of the shadows. So you can work around with the clip end. You can increase this around just like this or decrease that around over there as well. You can also go around with the bias right here. You can increase this out, increase the bias and then see how it affects the shadows right here. And that is how you can work around with the contact shadows uh, to make the shadows look more natural inside of Blender. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.